The first baseballer on the walk and talk is Taylor Rashi. 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 Yeah. Because maybe last year everyone I think was calling you Rashi. Everyone still does, but it doesn't really matter. So you'll respond to either. Yeah. But it's Rashi. Yeah. Lately it's been Taylor. So oh, Taylor! What new what new concept by the first name? Throw me off. <laughs> Second year at UCI. Yeah. What's life like? Uh, it's great. Uh, living down in Newport, which is always fun. Coming to school a couple days a week and uh, baseball every day. You guys spend hours at the ballpark. Yeah. Like hours on end out there. I a think lot. a lot of people are wondering what you're even doing out there half the time. I wonder that myself a lot of the time. Uh, a lot of time it's setting up the field, helping out the ground screw guys, uh, shagging VP for the hitters, and uh, sitting in the clubhouse and talking to the rest of the team. The baseball routine start to finish. You guys are early for weights. So class, practice. It's so like a ago. day like today or yesterday. Wake up at like 6.15, coffee, get to the weight room at like 6.45, mm -hmm. lift from seven to eight. We usually get to the field around one, classroom, just going over either the game before, practice plan, 145 stretch, practice done around four, pitchers run, and then um, you say that like you don't enjoy when you guys have to run. I personally haven't done much running this year. Hmm. Um, How'd you get out of that? I hurt my back in the mm, the, convenient. the end of fall. Yeah, the Excuse convenient me. hurt back. I was out from fall until like mid-January. But you're back now. Yeah. And you're pitching. Yeah. And you're doing well. I'm doing all right. Yeah, it's fun. How do you feel? Good. I feel good. Team's doing well. We're got a lot of stuff to work on, a lot of things to get better at, and we're pretty good right now, so it's a little bright future ahead of us. Pitchers generally have a pretty extensive pre-practice, pre-game routine in terms of stretching, getting your body loosened up, right? Yeah. Walk us uh, through yours. My routine's a little bit different just because typically, well this year at least, I don't go in until the very end of the game. Yeah. So I stretch a lot, and I throw a little bit. Uh, most of the pitchers throw a lot, like okay. the starters will throw a lot because they're the first one in. Uh, but I throw a little bit, and then throughout the game, every couple of innings or so, I'll run, stretch my arm, basically stay warm, ride the bike a little bit. How about the pregame playlist? What's on Rashi's pregame playlist? What my my pregame playlist? Yeah. Uh, it's filled with a lot of rap music. Okay. No Tim McGraw? No. Okay. No. All rap music. Um, a lot of Drake, a lot of Eminem. Little Wayne, stuff like that. Okay. I'm a 90s kid, so gotta stick to that that generation. The ballpark has awesome concession stands. Great. Everybody knows that. Great. And the baseball team, like a few hours before the games, I'll see you guys like eating these burritos that are the size of yours or my head. Yeah. Like how do you guys manage to eat all that and then go play a game? <clears throat> um, I don't know. We just <laughs> after batting practice we're a little hungry and okay. We just go up there. Most of us get tri-tip fries. It's our go-to. That your, that's your order? Tri-tip fries? Most of our team's order, yeah. Okay. Then we go out there and we do our thing. It's yeah, just, well, it's working out so far, yeah. so I won't knock it. It's just, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. You have been an EMT. You are an EMT. You're going to be an EMT. What's I'm the story there? a certified EMT. I worked as an EMT for two years before coming here, and I had to stop because I'm here. So you've already worked full time as an EMT for while two, in college for two years. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. School, baseball, EMT, first responder, no big deal. So once school and baseball is over, I'll probably go back to the same company I worked at, work there, um, and then go to paramedic school and then apply to fire departments and hopefully work as a firefighter paramedic. Why do you like it? Uh, I don't know. Growing up, my my mom's a nurse, so I always. Mm -hmm. Heard her stories, heard how happy she was to help people, and I think kind of resonated with me because it's fun seeing the results after what you've done helps them. It's cool. I think there could be some parallels that we could draw between being an EMT and a pitcher, for instance. Like, you guys kind of know how to manage and diffuse pressure situations. Yeah, definitely. Do you agree with that? No, yeah. I, uh, I used to get a little nervous every once in a while before pitching in like really big games and yeah. after working as an EMT so long I kind of told myself I was like there's nothing more stressful than having to try and save someone's life. Mm -hmm. 
So every time I pitch, it's kind of like, it's a little bit easier now knowing that it's a game rather than someone's life. At the end of the day, yeah. everyone's We're still all going to be all right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's a pretty good mindset to have, though, yeah. I can imagine. And you mentioned your mom's a nurse. Are you close with um, her still? Is she at any of the games? Uh, yeah, she comes to almost every game that she can. Uh, she still works a lot. She's a single mother, so it's kind of her doing her own thing and then doing her thing to support me. So when she comes, and it's great. I think most of what I do and what I try to do is to make her happy, so that's what I strive to do. What do you think the number one thing you've learned from her, just being a single mom and raising you is? Uh, just being independent and like being resilient in any situation because she's handle, had to handle every situation on her own. So seeing that and learning from that, it's been a big, big thing in my life. Seeing how incredibly strong she was in every situation she's had to deal with is something that hopefully got passed on to me and I'll be able to do that later. Hey, well, Taylor, we appreciate you coming on the walk and talk. Of course, it was fun. We won't keep you too long because I know you have to get out to your extensive stretching routine out there in the ballpark. Yeah, very extensive. But thank you so much and good luck to you guys. Thank this you season. so much. Thanks. Thank you.